Hello Stampers, Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you live from Menasha, Wisconsin. We had a very beautiful Sunday here in Wisconsin. It was a little nippy, but it was beautiful and sunny and it wasn't horribly windy like it was yesterday. I see people popping in here. Hi Lisa, Cindy is here, welcome. So I am excited to show you guys the new scrapbook pages that Haley completed. Oh, Yeah, she added a little something to the page that I showed you yesterday, so I'm going to show them both to you again. They are outstanding and gorgeous. Hi Betty, hi Gilmore, Francie, welcome. Angie's popping in. I am going to get myself on my screen here. Oh, what just happened? Like, why does that happen? Oh, there I was. <laughs> I was just cutting cardstock. I'm gonna get all those kits packed up tonight and in the mail tomorrow. So, yay! Thank you guys so much. Those of you that are buying kits for me, I really, really appreciate your support of my small business. It's awesome. It makes me feel warm and fuzzy all over the place. I'm jumping over here because I keep clicking on my screen to get that live to come up and it's not cooperating very well. Earlier today, though, I'm pretty happy that I did a team meeting via Zoom. Now, I've done lots of Zoom conference calls before, but I've never been the person running them. And that's a little bit different ball game. And then I wanted to stream from a Zoom live conference call into our private Facebook group for the team. So people that couldn't get on Zoom could watch it in Facebook and we successfully did that. I think our meeting turned out fantastic. It was a lot of fun. Everybody really liked being on Zoom where they could ask questions and interact and kind of get to know each other with a face and a voice and things. We had two of my team members do fabulous demonstrations for us and this is the part where I always learn the most is watching other people do demonstrations whether I'm learning their techniques or funny little things that they say that I can use in my own videos or the technique or the card layout or the fun fold. I just, I love, love, love watching other people do um, demonstrations. So we had two people, my team member Teppy and Trish, both did um, demonstrations today. And I'm gonna be sharing Trish's demonstration with you. So I'm excited about that. I had some fun to play with it after our meeting. And wanted to let you know that Haley is still hasn't had the baby, but she's on here too. Hi, Haley. Um, she's not feeling well today. She's, um, and Haley, I'm going to be brutally honest. She's very agitated. She's a little like, mm, doesn't have a lot of patience. That's a good way to put it. Um, don't get me wrong. She was wonderful. Okay. But she dropped something and then it was like, oh, you know, just getting real frustrated with things and she wasn't feeling good today. She's got a lot of pressure way high up um, on her stomach that's making it hard for her to breathe and things are getting a little crazy. So I'm thinking that today could be the day. I know I keep saying that, right? And it's going to be someday soon. But just because she's not feeling good, today was not a good day for her. She's frustrated because her clothes are getting too tight and her shirt doesn't come all the way down and cover up everything. And it was just a, it was a day. She was a little very frazzled when she got here today, but then she mellowed out and had a really good time making her scrapbook pages. And I think she went home to Jared a little happier. And she came here and he's been so wonderful. Oh my gosh. She's like, I think you're beautiful. She's like, I have nothing fits. You know, that pre-mom syndrome. That's right, Leona. <laughs> I remember, so I have a funny story. I have lots of funny stories from when I was pregnant with her. But one of my funny stories was I, my feet swelled really bad. Like I had to go on half days or whatever at work because my feet and ankles swelled up really bad when I was pregnant. And I had her July 1st. So it was getting into the pretty hot, humid season in Wisconsin. And so I went to the store one day, I went shopping and I was trying to find shoes because none of my shoes would fit my fat little feet. And I went shopping and I couldn't find any shoes to fit me. Like either I didn't like them or they were just uncomfortable. And of course, you know, you've got this, this stubby foot that's like this wide now. Nothing would fit. And I remember I was driving home. I'm driving down our road. We lived kind of out in the country. 
driving down a road and I'm like crying. I'm like, oh, my feet are so fat. I feel miserable. And, and I pull in our driveway. We have company. Oh, my Lord. I was like, oh, you know, trying to get my eyes to stop being red. And what? It's just like, really? <laughs> yeah, that was one of my funny stories. I did a lot of stupid things when I was pregnant. Like, just dumb things. But we'll talk about that another day. Anywho, um, I know how she's feeling. It's the end, and um, it, it needs to be over now, and that baby needs to get out here, and I need to know her name. <laughs> because Weedley, well, it's pretty funny, right? I told Haley it's probably going to forever be her nickname, Weedley. She goes, it better not. <laughs> I think it will. I'll call her that in secret. <laughs> Oh, Diane says, feel better, Haley. She didn't like pregnancy. Well, Haley has been wonderful pregnant. She loved being pregnant. She's loved the whole ride until today. Today, it's pushing her right over the edge. So, but I'm feeling it. It's today. I just know it's today. <laughs> Tonight, I'm going to get the call. I hope so. <clears throat> Anyways, I don't have any mail to show you. Because I showed you all my mail yesterday, all the beautiful cards that I got. Oh, I better turn some lights on here. I was just came running in from my kitchen. I set an alarm on my phone so that I don't miss you guys. <laughs> and I, it went off and I came running in here. And I'm like, oh, I got to get my phone in. I got to get set up. Because um, I was cutting cardstock. Cutting like a crazy person. I just cut for 30 times 4 times 8. 30 times 8. 240 cards. No. 40 times 8. 320 cards I just cut and it took me about 45 minutes. Yeah. So that's um interesting, right? Because I have that great big giant beast of a cutter. So um, I'm watching your comments come in here. Joe wants to know her name too. I know, right? And it's on the wall in her bedroom. If I just would sneak over there, I could go in and find out. But I don't want to spoil the surprise. We already know it's a girl. That's enough, right? So I'm really excited. And I just know she's going to pick a really pretty name. Or we'll have to change it. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I don't want anything weird. <laughs> she doesn't do weird kid names. So... I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Oh, we have prizes. Hang on. Where'd they go? Hang on. Oh, I set them over here. Hang on a second. Oh, my gosh, you guys. I'm like, oh, I'm going to flip the camera around. No, we have prizes. Now, these prizes are from my last Sunday Facebook Live. Because remember, on Sunday nights, that's my normal nights to do Facebook Live. I have been um, doing prizes every other night that I do Facebook too, but Sunday night is my night. And so I'm going to continue on with my prizes there. You get a prize or a drawing. You get entered in a drawing when you comment. So if you're coming in, please make sure you leave at least one comment so I can put you in the um, drawing for the comments. Also, if you would click on that share button, you can do that right now. And that probably helps me out the most. Whether you're watching now on Facebook, later after the live is over, you can still click share. Or if you're watching later on YouTube, you can click that share button. And that really helps me grow my business. And I really, really appreciate it. And it's another reason to be entered in a drawing. So I have comments, sharing, and then anybody who places an order with me, you also get entered in a drawing to win prizes. So here are my prizes. Let's see, here's my comment prize. Gilded gems, you guys. These are the bomb. I've been using them a ton, especially with the Ornate Garden bundle, but you can use them with anything. And that little bit of gold bling is just mm, delicious. So the winner for this, for leaving a comment from my April 5th live, because I wasn't live last Sunday, that was the first day I took off in weeks and weeks. From April 5th is Kathy Fennell from Sparks, Nevada. You are going to get a pack of these beautiful gilded gems in the mail. So congratulations. Yay! And then we have a Wink of Stella. Who doesn't love Wink of Stella? It's just pretty. It's not messy. It's beautiful. Now remember, when you get your Wink of Stella, if you've never had one, you're going to unscrew it and take that black ring out of there and throw it away. That's only for shipping purposes. It serves no purpose once you 
open this up to use it. You don't have to put it back on there. But you want to take that off and throw it in the garbage. Then you shake your Wink of Stella. There's some little push. Um, uh, it says push words on the sides. You push it and you're going to watch the Wink. That's what I call it. Hang on, I'm going to grab one here. See, I don't have the black thing because I took it out and threw it away. You're going to take and shake it. And then you push the wink down until you see see it coming into the barrel here. And just get a little bit in the barrel and start wiping it. Whoops, see? Until you see it start coming out and then you're in business. You can go ahead and use your wink of Stella. But for wink of Stella, and this is for sharing my video from the 5th. The winner is Linda Smith of Leroy, New York. You have a Wink of Stella coming your way. Thank you so much for the share, Linda, and congratulations. Um, okay, there's I put that there. Now, my next winner is for placing an order with me. And I have the Stone 3D Embossing Folder and the Power of Hope stamp set. This is a gorgeous bundle. Our winner is Mary Brumholz of Covina, California. This is going to be on its way to you. So congratulations. Yay. Oh, I see Tammy's popping in. Joanne's popping in. We have a lot of people that were in my team meeting today. Wasn't that fun, you guys? I really enjoyed it. I ran a little over. I thought I was under time, but I was actually over by about mm, 20 minutes or so. So that's not bad, but it was really fun. We had a good time. Okay, I'm going to set those up there so I don't misplace them like I did before. I set them over there with my team. I have I have a whole bunch of team prizes that need to go out in the mail too. Um, my team today, among other things, like I do a lot of recognition for um, people who sell or buy over 600 in a month. They get entered in a drawing for a free stamp set of their choice. Um, if you do $1,000 or more in the month, you get entered for an entire bundle of your choice. Um, all kinds of other things. But then I have general door prizes. And these, this is my whole huge basket of general door prizes for my team meeting today. Stampin' Up! has this beautiful spiral ring notebook that is just a notebook, but it's it's gorgeous. Oh, I've got one open here because I have one on my desk that I've been using. It's just a regular notebook, but it's so, so pretty, right? And I wondered, is this something you guys would like as a prize? I wasn't sure because I got some from my team, but I didn't know would customers, people that aren't stamping up demonstrators, like a notebook like that? I think you probably would. But anyways, I have that. I have this fun notebook. It's also spiral bound. I've got a ton of Wink Stellas in here, some um, chamois that I'm going to be doing drawings for, lots of the... Um, gilded gems. What else do I have here? I know I have some rhinestones in here someplace. Oh, got some chalk pens, rhinestones. Here comes some rhinestones. Yeah, lots and lots of goodies that I'm going to be awarding. So I got a lot of mail that needs to go out tomorrow, along with the kits, the kits that everybody ordered. So um, if you ordered a kit from me, whether it's the Ornate Garden online class or the dressed I always forget the name of this one what's it called dressed no hang on dressed something or another um, I don't know why I can't remember that best dress best dress if it's the best dress kit if you did not get the PDF file yet please let me know I can resend it to you. A lot of times they might go into your spam folder, but everybody who has ordered my April online classes, the Ornate Garden class and the Best Dressed class, you should have your um, PDF files and your actual pre-cut cardstock packs if you chose that option are going out in the mail tomorrow, hoping to get them all out tomorrow. So otherwise Tuesday morning right away. So. Marianne says the notebook is amazing. It's really, really pretty, right? And who doesn't want to have this like sitting on their desk or, you know, in their kitchen? I like it. What did I start writing in it? I started, oh, I started reading some or writing some notes from my team meeting. So there you go. Okay. I think we're ready to flip our camera around. Are you guys ready? Best dress. Yeah. Thanks, Cheryl. Thanks, Joe. I know. I don't know why that keeps escaping me. And I've typed it a million times, I've written it a million times, I've made a ton of cards with it, I still can't remember what it's called. Um, let's see, Linda just said, what do you get when you sign up as a demonstrator now? What you get is you get 
to choose $125 in product for only $99. You get free shipping on that. You get a paper pumpkin kit. It is not the monthly kits that you're seeing advertised right now. It is a pre-made kit from a while ago that they include with all of the discount shopper kits. So don't think that you're going to get the May kit, the paper pumpkin kit, with your discount shopper kit. That's not how it works. Stampin' Up! could never predict. So they just had one of their kits and made up a ton of them so they can put them in with the starter with the starter kit or the discount shopper kit. So you get free shipping, you get a paper pumpkin kit, you get a 20% discount on all your future orders, and you get me. Yay! You get to be on my team, and I have a ton of stuff. On my blog, in the right-hand column, is $99 kit button. If you click that, you're going to find all the things that you get. There's a whole question and answer thing that will answer almost every single question that you could possibly have about our discount shopper kit. And, you know, especially right now, being part of something bigger right now is really important because I know a lot of us are sitting at home feeling isolated. But you could have joined my meeting today. It was super, super fun. Every Tuesday, I do a Facebook Live for my team in a private group that is a question and an answer session. So people can ask me questions and I can answer them. Um, every Wednesday, I send out a newsletter to my team with a video in it explaining and talking about the weekly updates that Stampin' Up! posts. And I have a team meeting that's live once a week. I do team training on Wednesdays um, through Zoom conference calling. If you can't be live, all of this stuff is recorded so you can come back and watch it later. I do a whole, whole bunch of things for my team. They're very important to me and I value each and every one of them. And it's a really fun place to be part of a team. A team of crazy ladies who all like the same stuff. That's what we do. So. Thank you so much. And Sarah says, we love her. Thank you, Sarah. We love you too. Sarah's amazing. <laughs> okay, I think that, oh, Cindy just said the team meeting is awesome. Wink of Stella is awesome. Yeah, it is really, uh, yeah, I love it too. How do you change demonstrators? Um, Cindy, that's something I just really don't want to talk about here because I do not want to be the person who is stealing people away from other demonstrators that's not that's not what I want to be associated with in any way shape or form um, if anybody has any more questions about that you can private message me and um, Patty just asked can other demos get the notebook yes and Patty in the weekly updates a few two or three weekly updates ago they um, told us that they had these new notebooks you have to be looking for those every Tuesday morning on the demonstrator website so that you can know what's going on at whether you're a business builder you do what I do or whether you're a discount shopper you need to know you need to be paying attention to all those things every Tuesday morning stamping up posts weekly updates and that's where we learn about all these new things so it is available for discount shopper demos to order right now and they're I think they're nine dollars and they're fab I love them they're beautiful right <laughs> who doesn't want something pretty yeah um Jody just said was it Jody yeah Jody just said it's in the supply list section the supply section um on a demo order and Christina's heading to a family zoom good for you that's really fun you stay healthy and happy too okay we're going to flip now. No baby yet. Anybody who came in late, she's getting really close. Like, I think it's going to be today. Like, it's going to be today. And she's like, okay, mom. <laughs> but I'm excited. Yeah. So, I'm going to flip you around. I'm going to show you um, Haley's scrapbook pages. Like I said, she added an element to one of her pages that I shared with you yesterday. So, let's get this puppy. Oh, you know what? I forgot to put my phone on do not disturb so if anybody calls me right now it's going to interrupt us. I'll try to like delete it immediately. Yesterday that happened but it wasn't so bad. So petal pink would be closer to the soft pink. Petal pink is more like a peach color, orangey. Um, Blushing bride is a soft pink color. I don't know what your question was. I just saw the answer somebody gave you. <laughs> okay, hang on. We're Close your eyes if you get motion sickness. We're going to flip this puppy around. And I'm going to show you. Uh-oh, uh-oh, my screen just went black. There we go. We're okay now. I'm going to make sure my phone is plugged in again just in case because I don't want my battery to die. 
do a little diving under my desk. Okay, I think we're good, you guys. I think you can open up your eyes. Now remember, if you're looking for my blog, my blog is my landing page. That's where you're going to find all of my links. And what do I mean by links? You're going to find my online store. You're going to find a link to my online technique club. You're going to find a link to order the kit from me, a question and answer area. Um, you're going to find a link to all my online classes. And this is my blog address right here. Online ordering button. You can see the catalogs online. All of this is in the right-hand column. This is my current host code. If you're going to place an order with me, and I always appreciate your orders, you're going to want to use this code if your order is under $150. If it's over $150, don't use the code. You're going to get rewards from Stampin' Up! And I want you to have those rewards. Okay. Here's the page that I shared with you yesterday. Haley added this element right down here, which I thought was oh so pretty, right? Oh, look, this is coming off, Hales. We're going to have to, we're going to, have to do some more. What I find works best with these rosettes is hot glue. And today we did get out the hot glue gun. That was another frustration because like she moved over there and the cord caught in her chair and it threw the hot glue gun on the floor and it squirted glue on the floor and it was just like a whole thing was going on. <laughs> you know when you're having one of the de those days where it's like, oh my Lord, what's next? <laughs> so it was pretty funny. <laughs> so yeah, this is a really, she had a professional photographer take these. These are her maternity photos. And then I told you guys that I would tell you what this says down here. And um, I'm going to just quickly read it because these are the pages that are now going to go into talking to the baby about what's going on right now in the world. And it says, in March 2020, things began to change in the United States and across the world. A virus that originally be began in China began to infiltrate the U.S., on the 11th, it was declared a national pandemic, meaning it was prevalent over the whole country. March 16th was the last day of teaching in person for mom, as all schools in the state of Wisconsin shut down and were forced to teach virtually. Dad still had to work each day, but wore rubber gloves to try to avoid the virus. The virus was extremely contagious, and many people that had it were asymptomatic, meaning that they may not know they had it and be unintentionally spreading it. It attacks the respiratory system as well, and was especially harmful to those with compromised immune systems and the elderly. The healthcare system was overrun with patients and lacking respirators for the infected and personal protective equipment for the workers. At this time, there was very little information on how it affected pregnant women and infants. On March 25th, Governor Evers declared a safer at-home order to be in effect through May 26th. All non-essential workers were forced to work from home or laid off. There were no gatherings allowed of 10 or more people. There were no professional, collegiate, or youth sports being played anywhere in the nation. Mom taught from home, never went to any stores or in public, and would only go to Graham's house each day to help her make cards for her business. Or to scrapbook, your scrapbook album, Weedly. This is the second page, you guys. What? Look at this beautiful thing, right? And look at those little booties. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited about this. So I'll let you scan this. I'll read the rest of this. Mom and dad were trying to wrap their heads around everything that was happening so quickly and changing each day. Grandma and Graham couldn't go to your ultrasounds anymore and mom and dad had to wear gloves and masks to doctor's appointments and have their temperatures checked. It also changed how things were going to be at your birth. Grandma and Graham could no longer be there in person and no visitors would be allowed to come visit you in the hospital. Mom was devastated. On top of things not being able to go as hoped for, she was nervous about how vulnerable dad was to being exposed to the virus at work. She was even more nervous that if things continued to get worse, the hospital wouldn't allow anyone at your birth, even dad. As this pandemic became their new normal for the time being, they began to figure out how life would be until things got better. They used technology to visit with family and ordered a tripod stand for their iPhones to try to have people there virtually at your birth. Then there was the question of who should they let see you once they come home from the hospital, if anyone. 
There were numerous things they were unsure of amidst this time of fear and panic. But the one thing they knew was how much they already loved you. Love drives out fear. With each other, they would be able to get through anything and better yet, have you to spend this quarantine time with. We've got, you mean everything to me. That's one of our stamps, you guys. And sweet baby down here. We've got somebody loves you lots and lots and I made a wish and you came true. Is this not just the most precious thing ever? Yeah, very, very cool. Okay, I am going to, I know, Kathy says this will be such a treasure for the future. It really is going to be. Maybe um, tomorrow I'll show you all the pages together just in case anybody missed them. But this whole thing is just amazing and gorgeous. All right, let me put this over there. Make sure it's nice and flat so I don't scrunch anything. I don't want to be responsible for ruining anything. Now, tonight I am going to be sharing with you a couple really cool cards. This is the Parisian Blossom Specialty Designer Series paper. And I say specialty because it has foil in it. And the foil is our champagne foil. And look at how pretty. The Eiffel Tower here, the writing here, the centers of these, um, what would you call those? Um, magnolias, maybe? No, no, no. Um, they're like the flowers we had in the card last night. What do you guys think these are? I can't think. Anyways, there's some more foil on here, too. Beautiful, beautiful. I'm still trying to think of the flower. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> anyway, somebody will tell me. Um, beautiful, beautiful paper, and I'm also going to be using the Parisian Beauty stamp set, as well as, let me find the, I gotta find, oh, here's the dies, here comes the dies, here comes the dies. I have never been to Paris. Who has been to Paris? I want to hear, is that, who has been to Paris that's watching? I've never been to Paris. I've been to Spain, Italy, and France in that general vicinity, but we didn't go to Paris. But I love this Eiffel Tower, right? Now, the cool thing about this is you have an Eiffel Tower that will die cut a very intri intri intricate Eiffel Tower. You also have a stamp here and the outline so you can die cut the stamp. Then, along with this, we have this swirly thing right here that cuts out a very delicate swirly thing. We have the word merci, merci beaucoup, and then we have the amore, and what else do I do? Merci beaucoup and parlez-vous français? Am I wowing you with all of my um, French? Is that what it is? French? I'm sure that just wowed you right there, right? <laughs> no, that's all I know. I know nothing else, but... There we go. We've got these beautiful, beautiful dies. This is a bundle. Parisian dies and Parisian beauty is the stamp set. The Parisian Blossom Specialty Designer Series paper. What else do we have in this suite? Looking for my catalog. Let's take a little look-see. Where's the parrot? Right here. It is on page 17. I forgot to even look at this. I know I've got the whole thing. So here we go. We've got the stamp set and dies. There's also another stamp set called Forever Blossoms bundle that goes along. It matches the flowers and stuff in here. The Parisian Flourish embossing folder, you've seen me use that. We've got the Champagne Rhinestone Basic Jewels and also the Petal Pink Metallic Edged Ribbon. This has the gold on the edges or champagne. You could use it with either. It is beautiful. Here is... The dies and the stamp set that I just showed you. And here's a coordinating stamp set and set of dies. Very, very pretty. I really, really love this. What are those flowers? Did we come up with that answer yet? I can't remember. Debbie's been to France. That's cool. Linda loves Paris. Um, what are the magnets you use? You use in your did envelope, please. Not quite sure what that means. Jo Jody, can you please specify? No, Lynn, we have no baby. Um, oh, Barbara got her surprise in her mailbox yesterday. Thank you. 
And you're very welcome. Cherry blossoms. These are cherry blossoms. Yeah, right. Yeah, absolutely. That is not totally what I was thinking, though. So, yeah, but they are cherry blossoms. Anyways, it's a beautiful suite of products. Now, let me get out my bits and pieces here. I've got some other cards to share with you also, so don't go running away. Oops, hang on, my catalog just fell on the floor. And I'm going to oops, bring in my stamp set and some little deals here. I'm going to grab those um, champagne rhinestones too because those are really pretty. And I have them. Where's the ribbon? I've also got the ribbon. Here's the ribbon. And it is beautiful. Here's those champagne rhinestones. I don't know if these are back in stock, you guys. Who knows that? I'm not sure. They were... Um, they were so popular, they were back-ordered almost immediately. And then this is the beautiful, beautiful ribbon. I absolutely love this. I think Haley used this on her scrapbook pages, too, because she loves the gold. And again, this could be gold or champagne. It'll go with either one. Okay, here we go. I'm going to bring in my piercing mat. That's what it's called. It's a piercing mat. And if you hear me talk about any of these products, you can go right to my online store. You'll find it again on my blog. And just type in on the online, online store, Pierce Matte. It'll pop right up. Or um, Metallic Edge Ribbon. And all of our Metallic Edge Ribbon will come up. Or Black Dimensionals. Just so you know how to search for products. Okay. I have a cardstock base of Pool Party. This is four and a quarter by 11. It's scored at five and a half. I'm also bringing in an envelope, and you know what I'm going to do with this. I've got the Parisian, what's that called? Parisian Blossoms <laughs> Specialty Designer Series Paper 2.5 by 6. Then I've got Whisper White. This is 4 by 5 and a quarter. That's for the inside. A piece of basic black that's 3 and 7 eighths by 5 and an eighth. Another piece of Whisper White that is three and three quarters by five. A scrap of basic black. And a scrap of petal pink. Now, I'm going to take this basic black. Gosh, it seems really dark in here. Let me turn on another light, you guys. Hang on. I just looked up and I'm like, why is it so dark in here? <laughs> Things are falling. I'm okay. Don't worry. Okay, we're going to take the Eiffel Tower. We're going to die cut it on this piece of black. And then, of course, when we do that, this is what we have left over. Is that not incredibly gorgeous? Like, it is beautiful. And then, um, let's see. We're going to take our card base, fold it in half, burnish that edge good. And we're going to do just a little bit of stamping here. So I've got Memento and Pool Party ink. Now I'm not sure if I want to do a full strength stamp on this or if I want to stamp it off once. So we're going to test it out here. I'm going to take this Eiffel Tower and ink it up in the Pool Party. And I'm going to stamp it right in the middle. Whoops, I almost dropped it on there. And that is pretty light. That's exactly what I'm looking for. Okay, then I'm going to bring in this sentiment, and it says, follow your heart, it will take you to incredible places. And that's just a nice little saying, it doesn't have to mean anything, but you could send this to any of your friends, and look at that font, it's just like, it's delicious, isn't it? I absolutely love that font, it's very, very pretty. Okay. We're going to put this on the inside of our card. Whoops, hang on, let me get my glue open. And get the little glue booger out of the end. I really do hate that word. i got to come up with a better word. Maybe this one's empty. Hmm. That glue does not want to come out of there. Hang on. Have you ever like done this and then jammed it into your finger? Yeah, been there, done that. Okay, here comes the glue. And then it does this, like because you've suctioned it out of there, then it won't stop. 
I mean, it will eventually. But yeah. Okay. Personal problems. <laughs> I'll deal with that later. It'll be okay. We're going to put this right on the inside of our card. And now my idea with stamping that Eiffel Tower in here is that you can write right over it. It's just kind of a background. It's very soft. It's just in the background. And I think that's a neat thing to do on the inside of a card. If you have an image that will, you know, look good with that. Okay, then we have this white piece. This is the three and three quarters by five inch piece. This is the technique, and I can't remember what this was called, but Trish on my team demonstrated this today. And she told me that she got the idea from... Um, Bruno Bertucci. I was like, oh, I can't think of your last name. Bruno. Bruno Bertucci. And what I'm going to do is you're going to take your scraps. This is totally about scraps. So you have all these little scraps that you end up, you know, in the front here. Here's a scrap. There's a scrap. There's a scrap. You end up with all these scraps. And what we're going to do is we're going to take these and we're going to cut them so that they're um, angled a little bit. So I'm just putting in this 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 one on the edge in here to angle it just a little bit. And now I'm going to angle it the other way. And we're going to get something that looks like this. Okay? Then we're going to angle it the other way. And you can mix and match these. You make them thick. You make them thin. You make them wider on one end. Then you did the last one. And that's... That's the whole deal with this. It's just a way to use up your um, scraps and be able to do something, oops, hang on, be able to do something really cool with them. So here's all our little scraps. And I did this with a bunch of the different patterns in the Parisian Blossoms Designer Series papers. So we have a whole bunch of these. Now with this three and three quarter inch piece, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to bring in these different slices and start adding them to the front of my card. So these are longer than the three and three quarter inch piece. That's also important. I almost forgot to say that. You need them to be longer because we're gonna trim them off when we're done here. So here comes one. And I'm gonna put this all the way over to the edge on my white layer. And now I'm going to come in with another one. And we're going to put that on here. Just like this. Be a little bit wider at the bottom than at the top. Just to make it fit. That's all I'm doing is making this fit. Here comes another one. And now my glue doesn't want to come out. What the heck is going on? There we go. Nothing. Operator error. We're just going to put this right on here. I'm leaving white space in between these, okay? That's kind of the charm of this whole technique. And then I'm kind of going pool party and then petal pink. Pool party, petal pink. You can do whatever you want. And this will work with any designer series paper too, by the way. Here comes another one. And then I'm going to go with another petal pink. I think I'll put this one right in there. And you just alternate back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. So I did not do this up ahead of time because I wanted you to be able to see the whole thing and how simple this was. Trish did a demonstration for us today on our Zoom conference call and it was fabulous. She did a great job. I had two great demonstrations going on today on our, our um, team meeting conference call. So that was really fun. You can also just put your glue here if you feel secure enough to do that. It's a little scary, not going to lie, because what if you get it and it shows in between like I just did there? <laughs> Don't sweat the small stuff. It's just not that important. Okay, this looks like a pretty straight piece. I don't know that I really want that one. I think I'm going to... I already did that color. I think I'll come back in here with this one. That'll go nicely here. So you just sit down and chop up a bunch of scraps. And then sit down with your white layer, or you could use a black layer, or any color under here that you want. And just go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. That's all you do. And it's oh so pretty. Now the one tip that I'm going to give you that I just did, and I'm like, oh, why did I do that? I'm going to make this go all the way over to the edge. 
um, don't, whoops, <laughs> that got away from me. Don't have, um, don't be putting glue all the way out to the end on these because you don't want to be cutting through all that glue with your scissors unless you're prepared to clean them, okay? But this is what it looks like, right? And then you can take your scissors from the back and trim it or you can bring it right into a little trimmer. I'm going to put this right here I'm lining up the edge of my whisper white cardstock with the edge of my blade chop boom done then do the same thing over here gonna line up the edge of my blade with the edge of my cardstock just like that and then I've got a little bit hanging over right here and I'm going to put this right up here and get that cut off look at this is that not super, super cool? What do you guys think of this? Yeah, it's really cool. So just wait. Today when I made my card, I showed it to Haley and I'm like, what do you think of this? She's like, oh, I love it. So I can't wait to show you the part she loves. All right. <clears throat> We're going to take this black layer and add it underneath the scraps. What did they call this? I can't remember again. Scrappy something or another. Anyways, you know what it is. I'm going to put that right there like that. And then I'm going to come in with my Eiffel Tower. And I'm just going to add some glue to these bigger little pieces. There's the legs on it, this part right here, this part right here, and up here at the top. See what I did there with the glue? Just going to add all of these, and I'm going to put them right in the middle. I'm going to put them. I'm going to put it right in the middle. I love that black that pops against all the colors, right? And then I wanted one more thing, well, a couple more things, but one more substantial element on here. And that is going to be this image. This is like a postmark on the, um, from 1889. I thought that was kind of really cool looking. I'm gonna put this on my petal pink with memento ink. Bring in my one inch circle punch. Maybe if I can get it centered. There we go. I'm going to add a dimensional to the back of this. Just like that. And then I'm going to put this on the front of my card. I'm going to add it right about right here. I just thought that looked kind of cool. The other thing I wanted to do just put a rhinestone on here because because we have matching rhinestones and why wouldn't you <laughs> right why wouldn't you add a rhinestone so I've got my take your pick tool and I think I will grab one of the big rhinestones here and put it right up here on the top of my Eiffel Tower you could put rhinestones any place that you wanted but isn't that pretty I think that's beautiful now I have just a tiny bit more stamping that I want to do. Where did our envelope go? Right here. Here comes our envelope. I am going to stamp the postage like lines, the wiggly lines that you get from the postage meter like that. And then I'm going to come in here with this and add it right there. That's going to go on the front of my envelope. We're going to take the designer series paper this is like my favorite one I think so I, but I love this too right <laughs> it's like it's so hard to decide so what I have been telling people stop hoarding your paper start using it up but when you order a pack and you're like so in love with it just get two packs that way you won't feel like you have to be chintzy with it and not use it because you know that perfect idea is gonna come about and then you're not gonna have that one pattern that you need I did that all the time now I just ordered two and I use up more paper than ever because I'm not afraid that I'm going to run out. And I don't know. It's a mind game, I think, that I play with myself about the two thing. I have two. I can just go to town with one whole pack and then pretty soon I'm using up that second pack too. So let's see if I can master scissors today. <laughs> Some days are more challenging than others. There we go. Look at how pretty that is. Okay. We have to get our card together here. Here goes. Oh, I'm going to put dimensionals on this too. Does anybody see my black dimensionals? Here they are. I'm out of the big white ones. Well, Haley has a card of them over there, but um, I just put them on my order. I'm like, 
I have 20 packs of mini dimensionals, but I don't have any more of the regular sized ones. Like, how does that even happen? I am looking for my other take your pick tool that has, oh, here it is. The pokey end. That's what I was looking for. I stuck it in my glue before and I forgot. So here we go. And there we go. Okay, make sure I got my card the right way. And I do. Here comes our beautiful card. The other thing I could have put out here, you guys, was um, some of that ribbon. This would look beautiful on here too, right? But look at how pretty that is. So this is a pool party card base with the petal pink. The other one that I made is a petal pink with the pool party as our little postage thing. Aren't these pretty? Thanks so much to Trish. She is the one who demonstrated this today and I'm like, oh my gosh, we have got to do this for Facebook Live, absolutely. And here's my other envelope. I did this one for this one and this one for this one. So. Beautiful, beautiful Parisian beauty bundle with all the goodies. All right, now hang tight because I have another card that I'm going to share with you. And this is another one that uses designer series paper scraps. I think you're really gonna like it because it's super easy. And again, you can use this with any type of scraps. It doesn't have to be this bundle. I would love it if you bought this bundle from me, but Let's be real, not everybody can do that. Use up some of your scraps that you have. Figure out your coordinating um, card base that you're gonna use with it. And that's one of the things I love about Stampin' Up! is all I have to do is go and look at what are the coordinating colors and pick out what am I gonna do. I use Petal Pink and Pool Party with white and black. And we're gonna have a little champagne coming in right now. Okay, let me put these away. I don't want to throw these away because I'll use them for something else. Here comes my next card. And this next card is also from one of my team members. I received it in a swap. I think she's watching tonight. Is Jody on here? Jody Peterson, I think you are on here. This is your card that I used the layout for. So hang on. Get my little basket out of the way, and let me put this over here so I don't lose my dimensions. Not that they were super hard or anything, right? I could probably figure it out. Okay, here comes all of our layers. And here is that champagne foil. Very, very pretty. It is what matches the um, designer series paper. So again, I've got my envelope and this particular designer series paper. Let's just get that done. As long as we just made one, we'll be really good at it right now. <laughs> right? Right now we can do this just like we did the last one. I've really been into this envelope flap thing lately because I think it's so spectacular when it, um, when you open up your mailbox. I know that I smile when I open up my mailbox and I see pretty flaps or pretty things stamped on the front. And I just sent out a ton of cards, you guys, last, I think on Friday or Saturday. I don't remember where. I don't, oh, I, I did too. I stamped the envelopes. I was going to say, I don't think I stamped the envelopes, but oh my Lord, I have so many cards that I need to send out. And there's only, only so many hours in the day for me. So if you get one that doesn't have something on it, I'm really sorry. Um, here's my envelope flap. That's really pretty. We're going to use a Whisper White Thick Card Base. This is five and a half by eight and a half. I've already scored it at four and a quarter. And we're going to burnish that edge good. And then I've got some other layers here. I've got a Whisper White layer of three and three quarters by five, three and seven eighths by five and an eighth. And hang on, because I wrote that wrong, and I want to correct that so I don't give you the wrong dimension. The other day I gave you the wrong punch. I grabbed the wrong punch in my supply list and told you all to use the wrong punch. I apologize for that. But don't worry. People told me so I could change it right away, and I do appreciate that. Okay, so we are going to take our Whisper White layer, and we're going to add that to our black layer. 
And you guys know that most of the time I'm freezing. Right now I'm sweating like a pig. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> um, where did our dyes go? Right here. Here comes the Eiffel. Whoops. There's my Eiffel Tower. Here comes the Eiffel Tower. We are going to die cut this on the champagne. Striking, right? Hang on. Look at that beauty. Is that not just, it made me gasp. I'm not gonna lie. I was like, oh, that's so pretty. Okay, now before I glue anything onto my card, I wanted to stamp something on the inside. So I think I'm going to grab my Petal Pink ink again. I'm going to stamp the Eiffel Tower right in the middle, just like I did on the last one, because I just really like that look. And then we've got Life is a Magnificent Adventure or Follow Your Heart. It will take you to incredible places. I love the font on this one, so I'm going with it. Oh, what am I going to put on the front? Hang on, that makes a difference. Oh, yeah, okay, we're good. Oh, I just got a piece of, do you see I just smudged it with black? I'll write in pen over that. Always ways to fix it. Oh, that turned out perfect. Okay, so this is our this is our um, inside. We're gonna take this layer and put it right on the front. And we can do that right now. Is Jody, is this ringing a bell for you, Jody? Or are you going, what card is she making? <laughs> then I've got one of my little half inch pieces. We're gonna cut it down so it doesn't really matter how long it is. I've got the Life is a Magnificent Adventure. I'm going to stand up so I can hopefully get this straight. Oh, but I squished it too far, didn't I? Let me grab a different one. These are just scraps that I saved from cutting my cardstock down to four by five and a quarter. Oh, that looks great. Okay, and then the other thing that I wanted to do is we've got this little element in there and I'm gonna use the petal pink ink and I'm just gonna stamp this right in the middle just like that and of course it doesn't take over because it's a light enough color you can't do that if you had a darker color but it's kinda of like what I did on the inside where I stamped that Eiffel Tower and then I plan on just writing right over it it's just a subtle little decoration in the background now I'm flagging the ends. Oh, I hate it. When, do you hate it when that happens? You just need to get that last little snippy doodle. There we go. <laughs> snippy doodle. Okay, next, I think I need to grab some other dimensionals. Oh, those are black ones too. Here's some. Are these cut? Nope. Of course they're not cut. That would be too reasonable. <laughs> Here comes some dimensionals. And now let's get back to all of our pieces here. Here's our card front. We've got this ready to roll. I'm gonna close this up. And now, like I said, with the scraps, I'm gonna come in here with the scraps. And these are just, these are four pieces of designer paper. It's the same pattern, okay? And these are all one by three and a half. And I just thought this card that Jody made was so very pretty. And again, it's a wonderful use of scraps. I'm going to put this one maybe right about here. And then you should really probably do a dry fit. Like that was just really very dangerous what I just did. Because this could be a complete disaster. But it's not going to be. Okay, good. Whew. Could have been. So do your dry fit first to see how far you need to space them apart. Make sure that your words on this foil paper are um, right side up. Even though I don't know what that says, I can see bonjour and amore and um, it does say something. And even if it doesn't say something, the letters will be upside down and it will not look good. Just trust me on that one. You know, I think we've probably all done it where we've done it upside down and you're like, oh my lord. Like I did on the flap with the um, ice cream cones. The paper was upside down. You guys remember that one? That was not funny, but funny. 
Okay, here comes our Eiffel Tower. Oh my gosh, it's just so, so, so pretty, right? Is this beautiful? Now I have to decide what I'm gonna do with this. I think I'm gonna go right over here. I think I'm gonna do the same thing Jody did. She put her decoration, I'll show you that in a minute. She put it over on the side. And again, I'm just doing a little bit of glue in the bigger spaces on the back here. I'm going to put this all the way over to the edge as far as I can. Be careful so you don't get glue on the front of your foil. Foil paper does not do well with glue. It just doesn't. It'll take like all your shine away. There we go. Okay. Here comes our greeting. And I think I'm gonna put this maybe, hmm, how about right here? I'm gonna put it right here. I'm just gonna cover up. It's like, which part do I cover up? I don't wanna cover up anything. I'm gonna do that. Then I'm gonna bring in some of these rhinestones and I'm going to do the same thing that Jody did with them because I just thought it was so, so pretty to just have a few of these rhinestones in there. And maybe... Mm, mine's a little bit different than hers. I don't want this to get lost someplace. Okay, I'll do it right there. So, here is my beautiful Parisian beauty card. Isn't that gorgeous? It says, life is a magnificent adventure. Follow your heart. It will take you to incredible places with the matching envelope. Yeah. Now, here's Jody's card. Look at this. So, Jody used the um, Cherry Blossom stamp set that is part of the other bundle included in this suite. So, there's dies for that. And then this happy birthday, I don't know if that's from that stamp set or not, but a happy birthday would work. I wanted to show you how she did this label because it's pretty cool. So what I did is I stamped the Life is a Magnificent Adventure. And oh, this one's jacked up. That's not what I want. Hang on. That one doesn't. Oh, I know. I'm going to get like a piece here. So what you do, this greeting... She used this punch for it, but this is way longer than that punch. So I wanted to show you how she did that. So you're gonna take a piece of white cardstock and you're going to measure how wide is this punch. And I found that it was, I think just under an inch and a quarter. So we're gonna cut that and then we're gonna look at this and see, is it just under an inch and a quarter? Yep, I think that's going to be a pretty good size because we need to push this back down in here. I'm going to cut off just a little tiny bit more than an inch and a quarter. So that's what you're going to do when you, when you go to use these punches to make just a little bit longer label. Okay, so here we go. You push it in just like this, punch it. And now, depending on how long you need it to be, I'm gonna stamp this right here, okay? And you can clearly see that this label would not be long enough for this, but now we've stamped that. Now we're gonna take this end and we're gonna push it down in here and slide it through, maybe. But there we go. Slide it through and get it centered and punch it and now we have a label that is much bigger, or a little, little bit bigger, than the original punch. And that's just another way to be able to utilize your punches. This is the Timeless Label Punch. And that's what Jody did here with this layer, is just elongated it that way. I think that was genius, right? She's a pretty smart cookie, that Jody. So, there we go. This is her card. This was her idea. I just used it with the Parisian Beauty. She used it with the Cherry Blossom set. And um, gorgeous. I love how she did the little strips of designer series paper. It's a great way to use up those little strips. Then 
I have some more cards to share with you that I have received in swaps using this bundle because it's so, so pretty. Hang on just a second. Let me get some of this cleared out of the way. You guys know I, I'm very good at making just a major mess, as are we all, right? We're all really good at that. Messy, messy, messy. Okay, so here's our two cards. Got those done. Whoops, hang on, my crown is falling in my eyes. Um, here's the other one that I made. And the envelope, both envelopes. Here's Petal Pink and Pool Party. I, I love this, I love that Eiffel Tower. I'm telling you, that just makes me happy. More envelopes. Here's another card I received in a swap. This is Candy Michael, she's one of my friends. She used the ribbon on here, and isn't that just oh so pretty? Yeah, very, very pretty. There's the Amore. Here's another one. I thought this was really pretty. Here's another one. And then that die that was in here, I haven't used it yet. Where'd the dies go? Here they are. This swirly die, this is what it makes, is all this really intricate little swirly whirlies. So again, very, very pretty. Really like this card. Here's another one. Remember, I got this in a swap and then I made this one, again, using scraps. So very, very cool. Good way to use up scraps. Oh, look, I must have ran over it with my chair. Darn it, I hate it when that happens. Um, but this uses that um, Parisian whatever folder. What's that called, you guys? Um, I don't know, but the folder that goes with this suite. Somebody will tell us. <laughs> Patty says she made four cards today and her craft room looks like a bomb went off. I know. Well, look at this. I just made two cards and I had this all cleaned up and now it's just a complete mess. Like, oh my goodness. That's the way it goes though, right? Creating is messy. It's just messy business and that's the way that it has to be. So, messy means creativity at its best. That is exactly right, Maggie. You are exactly right. Donna says she likes using scraps for a special bit of color. Parisian flourish. Yes, that's what it is. The folder. It's very pretty. I really like it. I think that was on back order for a little while, too. I could be wrong about that, but I know I gave away several of these. They're very, very pretty. Okay, whoo, I'm ready to go to Paris. Who's in? I'm going on a trip. No, I don't wanna to go to Paris. Hang on, I'm gonna flip you around. If you get motion sickness, close your eyes right now. Hope I don't disconnect you by accident because that happened. There we go. Yay, I'm not talking to the back of your head anymore. Yeah, so I don't really wanna to go to Paris. That's never been on my list. Um, and I'm sure it's beautiful there. But it's also a big city and it's dirty and Europe didn't do a lot for me personally. <laughs> Wasn't my favorite place. I want to be in a beach someplace with a fufu drink in my hand, reading a book and watching people. That's what I want to do. So that trip to Hawaii that I'm supposed to go on this summer, that would be awesome. I don't think it's going to happen. I think July is going to be too soon for us to be taking trips anyplace. I don't know. I could be completely wrong. What do you guys think? Sherry's asking, are discount shoppers part of your team? Yeah. Everybody that buys the kit from me is part of my team. Or are the demonstrators who sell considered the actual team? Nope. Sherry, all of the people that have purchased the discount shopper kit from me are part of my team. Whether you want to build a business or just get a discount on your future orders, that's completely up to you. But you are still a team member. You are still considered a demonstrator and you have a demonstrator title from Stampin' Up. They don't care what you do either. They don't care if you just buy for yourself or if you want to start selling. You can start out buying for yourself and later down the road you can change your mind and start selling or you can start out selling and decide you don't want to do it and then just buy for yourself. Nobody cares. You're treated the same way regardless of what you do if you're on my team. Everybody on my team is important to me and... Um, they're all team members, regardless of what they want to do. As soon as you join my team, opens up a whole new world. 
Ah, uh, bounce, Haley, bounce. Is Haley on that ball? I forgot to tell you that. Um, she took Steve's giant ball home to bounce on it. <laughs> get that, get that baby out of there. <laughs> Hysterical. So today, I don't know what you guys had for supper, but Steve grilled steaks on the grill today, and then he made broccoli with melted cheese on it. Just sprinkled melted cheese, not like a whole cheese sauce. He doesn't really know how to do cheese sauce. And then he made, um... Carrots, cooked carrots to go with that. So that's what we had for like kind of a late lunch. And then right before I came on, he threw, he was browning a pork roast when I got up this morning. He put that in the crock pot or the slow cooker with potatoes and onions and carrots. And then he put some flour and whatever in there to make a gravy. That's what I had for supper. <gasps> it was so good, you guys. It was just delightful. Absolutely delightful. And Diana is asking Haley if she's done with her scrapbook. She has two more pages done. If you missed them, I showed them at the beginning. So make sure you go back and look at them because they're beautiful. And Pam says, I ordered the class kit for Ornate Garden yesterday on back order, but can't wait till it comes. Good for you, Pam. That's awesome. Hey, I wanted to tell you guys too. If you ordered the Ornate Garden suite from me, that means the suite with all the products in it. It was like $134.75. If you ordered that from me and you did not get the online class PDF file from me in an email, let me know. I did a search for everybody that ordered that from me and I included you in my email, but I could have missed somebody easily. So just let me know. I will get that off to you right away. Oh, and I have to tell you, I do still have Ornate Garden. I'm going to be making those up tonight, the kits, the pre-cut cardstock packs. I'm going to make extra, so I'm going to leave that button on until I run out. Today I ran out of the Birthday Bonanza number two online class pre-cut cardstock pack, so that's gone. I do have, I think, two painted poppies left. And then the other ones are just reserved for my team. I allow my team, whether I sell just the kit well, like my kit class, I only sell as a complete kit. You cannot order the PDF file. You can't just order the pre-cut cardstock pack. But if you're part of my team, you can. And that brings up another thing. I always forget to mention this. The other benefit of joining my team, once you put in your first discount shopper order using your ID number and password, you then get to choose whatever online classes you want from me for free. And most of my classes are $25. Yeah, so it doesn't take long to make up that $99 kit, right? But you do have access to all my past kits too. Um, not kits, my past online classes. So that's a pretty big deal and a pretty big benefit of being on my team. It's, it's a lot of fun. Okay, I'm looking to see if you guys have any other questions. Debbie broke the bathroom door. <laughs> I've done things like that. I'm not going to lie. Francie says, beautiful scrapbook, Haley. Thank you, Francie. She did do a fabulous job on it, right? Yeah. All right. I'm just looking to see. Oh, Marcia has tears. You're so sweet. Oh, I think my phone is really delayed, you guys. Oh my gosh, I'm scrolling, scrolling, scrolling forever. My phone stopped way back when. So hang on till I get up. Ooh, now all my messages went away. Whew. Yeah, don't forget to share my video. That really helps me out. Connie just said Kelly's classes are wonderful. Connie's my biggest fan. <laughs> One of my biggest fans. <laughs> Linda said classes are the best. Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate that. I work really hard on them, and it's really important that I am putting out a product that is worthy of your time and money. That's really important to me. Where do you get the pages showing the DSP and coordinating colors? I make them, D. So um, I make these. This is just a blank sheet of cardstock until right here where I just type in the name of the designer series paper and the coordinating colors. That's it. It's just a blank piece of white cardstock. I type in the name down here. I print it. Then, these are all the designer paper. They're like actually the designer paper. I'm looking for a piece and I can't even find one. These are two by two. 
So I cut the designer paper and I glue them on here and then I punch out one inch circles in, in the coordinating colors and glue those on here. I love these. I love them. They're fantastic. Okay, I'm looking back now. I don't want to miss anybody's questions. Lori's going to have to watch the replay. That's fine, Lori. Make sure you go back to Haley's scrapbook pages. They're so, so pretty. And Julie's going to have to get the Parisian Blossom Suite. I know. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you, Kathleen. Kathleen says beautiful cards tonight. Good night. Good night. Thank you for sticking around. Yeah, I love my Sunday nights. And Haley, have that baby soon, Pat says. She's going to. I like, I pretty much ordered her to today. <laughs> that baby's coming when that baby's coming. That's what's going to happen. We all know it, but we can talk smart, right? This is the first time Wendy Jackson caught me live. Well, Wendy, I'm glad that you popped in here. We're almost done. But you will find the replay on my Facebook page. The retired list comes out on Wednesday, you guys. So make sure get your um, in colors. We have a whole line of in colors that are retiring. When that list comes out, boom, all the stuff for in colors are gone immediately. So don't wait until then. I don't want to hear, I don't want anybody whining that they didn't get their re to go with their blueberry bushel. No whining because I'm telling you right now, order those before that list goes out. There's somebody that gets, um, disappointed every year at least one or two people all right i think we are good january 8th blog post tells you all about how to make them thank you terry you can yeah there's um a video that tells you exactly how to make the sheets and when we get the new catalog out i will make up new sheets and i will post that pdf file so people can print it but i do tell you how to do it yourself I'd like to get the Grace's Garden PDF. Do I just email you? I don't have Grace's Garden. I do not have that. Sorry, Connie. Connie Pelzer, that was your question. I don't have an online class for that. Um, and if you're on my team, yeah, you just email me the titles of the online classes that you want, and I will email them back to you. Jenny says, are you going to call off your lives if Haley goes into labor? Absolutely. And again, Jenny, it depends on what time and what happens. So I don't know. I don't know what my schedule is going to be when that baby's born. But um, I know that that baby is going to get me. <laughs> I'm sorry, you guys. But that baby's going to get me. Now, I do have some things on my desk that I don't need to do a bunch of prep work for to do Facebook Live. So I'm kind of prepared. That if I need to, I can take an hour each day and do my Facebook Live or whatever. So don't worry about don't worry about that. But if Haley calls me tomorrow and I'm ready to do my Facebook Live at five o'clock and says I'm having a baby, there's not going to be a live. <laughs> I just want to be perfectly clear with you, transparent. So thank you for asking though, because I've been thinking about that. It's like, how's this going to work? Well. Kimberly says she has been spoiling us. I really have been. What font do I use? Linda, I don't remember, but it's in that video. I think I shared it on there. I think it's called Candy something or another. I'm not really sure. I'm sorry that I can't be more helpful there, but those are the kind of things that do not stick in my head. And get that baby a crown. Oh my gosh, Deborah, you are a hoot. I do need to get that baby a crown, don't I? I'll work on that. <laughs> okay, I'm going to let you guys go. I need to go talk to Steve for a few minutes. And then I am going to get those kits put together. Charlene is betting on Tuesday. No, Charlene, it's tonight. Don't forget it. <laughs> Hi, Nikki Schmidt. Baby, 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 come down. Thank you, D. Thank you. That baby is coming. I want to know her name and I want to know it now. All right. Bye, you guys. Have a great night. Thank you so much for joining me.